Good day for everyone. It's glad to see you. Let me introduce myself. I am Mirzaeva Delshoda, English language teacher. I work in English philology department at Fergana State University. Today, we are going to discuss the topic nonverbal communication, which is the one of the part of the module discourse analysis. As we know, this course analysis learns the language and its usage. It means that the language has a different meaning in different social contexts. This course divided into two main types, the verbal communication and nonverbal communication. Today, I am going to give information about what is the nonverbal communication. As a present, uh, from the presentation, you can see that uh, what is nonverbal communication. When we interact or communicate with others, we give and receive different wordless signals. And all of our nonverbal behaviors, the gestures we make, the way we see it, how fast and how loud we talk, and how uh, close we stand or how much eye contact with me, we make send strong messages to others. To organize uh, or to organize the nonverbal communication, we need these three categories: sounds, body language, and environmental factors. And here, given the examples of the nonverbal communications. For example, with the help of these emojis, we can show the different facial expressions. And when we are chatting with others, we can use these emojis to show our feelings or to show our uh, attention to others. And the second one is the hand gestures. These hand gestures give a meaning that alphabet of four disabled person. Or last one is body language science. You can see the from presentation. And one of the main factors of organized that nonverbal communication is the sounds. With the help of pitch, tone, screams, silences, poses, we communicate with others without saying any word. For example, the teacher wants to grab the attention of the class. He low the vo their, his or her voice to, when it's too noisy or when two people are communicating with each other, someone can take a pose. It means he or she wants to give the turn to another person, or it means he or she is thinking what to say. And another factor uh, of developing the nonverbal communication is body language. As we mentioned above, uh, the elements of the body language may be gestures, body language, or body movement, or eye contact, and so on. And here we are going to discuss about the eye contact. And people are more likely to compile when more eye contact is used. And eye contact conveys a sense of sincerity. And with the help of the eye contact, uh, we establish communication between people. For example, if you are going to uh, give the persuasive speech, you should hold the eye contact with your audience. And this means, or this uh, repre represents, you have a self-confidence. And uh, next uh, factor of the body language is, or uh, next element of the body language is the body language sciences. Uh, you can see the from presentation, or uh, I uh, can also show, for example, if you are sitting like this, it means you are bored. Or if you are sitting like this, it means you are depressed. Or some, if you see that someone is sitting like this, he is thinking about something. 
And uh, next uh, element of the body language is the facial expressions. We know that human face is extremely expressive. We can use the facial expressions for happiness, sadness, fear, surprise, and so on. Uh, and from the presentation, you can see the different facial expressions. For example, w when we smile, when we um, meet uh, the person th we like, like this, or when we anger, we can ch change our facial expressions into this one. And here, given that different uh, examples for uh, facial expressions. And next element of the body language is gestures. Uh, we use gestures to make the place of words or help us to understand what is being said. And we bake, uh, we wave, or we backhand, or use our hands we are arguing or when we are speaking. For example, in our nation, that Uzbek language, uh, Uzbek culture, this means hello. And in American culture, this means hello. Or this uh, gesture, uh, famous around the world. Or when we are uh, doing like this gesture, uh, it means that be silent. Or this uh, gesture also uh, famous around the world. It means the victory. And also here, given the different movements, and movements is also one of the key elements of the body language. For example, w when we uh, do like this, we are going to show something to someone. Or when we are doing like this, we are uh, sh trying to show we are happy. Or when we are doing like this, we want to argue with someone, yes? and. And uh, next factor of um, organizing that nonverbal communication is the environmental factors or environmental cues. Hmm? Mm -hmm. uh, it um, includes that space and distance, territory, touch, and color. Um, for example, uh, the color also gives information about the person. Uh, for example, uh, here given that some examples, for example, uh, reading red can suggest that the person is confident and energetic. And it can also indicate that, uh, that are, uh, they are outgoing and assertive. Or a person who wears a green, calm and fresh. And open to mental and physical growth and he knows what work and life balance is so you can learn it from him and also one of the elements of the environmental cues factors is that touch uh, communication through touch is the form of physical contact that expressing feelings or emotions uh, often touch is used to show that you are care or help someone by directing them. Touch sends different messages depending on different context. And next uh, one is that personal space or distance between people. Uh, with the help of the distance between the two people which um, are discussing or communicating each other, we can uh, easily know uh, who uh, they, uh, who are they. Uh, for example, if two people standing too close, it means that they have a close relationship uh, between each other. And if that person standing um, 3.6 meters uh, distance between audience, it means that social space. And, and also, uh, environmental is one of the main factor of uh, environmental uh, factors. Uh, for example, uh, the way uh, we decorate our house tells others a lot about us. Uh, a lot, uh, about us. For example, if uh, someone's family uh, decorated with balloons, with lights, or with different candies, we can easily know uh, in this house um, 
birthday mm? or uh, when we decorate our house with uh, different lights, with different um, toys or with different uh, sweets, it means uh, nowadays. Uh, we are preparing the New Year party. And in conclusion, we can say that nonverbal communication will improve our ability to communicate with each other. With the help of the nonverbal communication, we can express our feelings, we can express our souls, and so on. For example, uh, if you uh, go to abroad and you don't know the, their language with the help of the simple nonverbal communication you can express your thoughts uh, and nonverbal communication will help to you to communicate uh, with other people this is the end of our lecture uh, see you soon